We are going to have a big time match up here tonight as the Kalima Reefer takes on Low Life Louie, the humongous hardcore match. This is a humongous matchup. Kalima Reefer is the former USA Pro Extreme Champion. And this match is just a matter of pride, respect. Kalima Reefer looking to earn both of them in this matchup. This is the king of hardcore himself. Low Life, Louis Ramos, who also hosts a hotline at 1718-707-1014. Uh, the mixed prediction of this match is that Mike Zemmer lives after it. Second entry in this big time matchup. He is the king of New York. He's defeated such names as the motivator, Danny DeMonto. Danny DeMonto, he's defeated all those guys, but he stepped in the ring with guys like Terry Fong. He's been in the ring with Abdul the Pusher. He's been in the ring with Johnny Bravado. And he's here to take on Grim Reefer, which will be a match of epic proportions. Papa Dons. Wow, looking like he's looking for some love tonight. And look at this match. Reaver versus Louie. This match is not going to be pretty. Usually these rings are not going to be bloody, but I cannot see this ring not getting bloody. The motivator again from the DOI representing. We join here a commentary by Billy Rio of Nightlife. Right. That's right, Billy. We're representing Nightlife to the fullest. You know, we got... Uh, Two uh, very unique contrast of styles between these two athletes. We got Grim Reefer, who I've been eyeing up, and uh, we got, of course, the hardcore icon, Louis Ramos. And we got a Gino Caruso ring that's not supposed to be bled in. Really? Well, uh, unfortunately for Gino Caruso, he's going to have to realize that this is USA Pro, and anything can go here, especially with uh, low life Louis Ramos. Billy Real, we were talking earlier before about nightlife. It seems like you guys are split into two factions with yourself. Mike Tobin and Tony Lowe taking one side and Simon Stryker. Cool cool taking another side. What's your comments on that? Oh, my comments are simple. They're soft enough. They got three guys. All they do is go to the gym. They don't party. Uh, Don Marie's got Simon Diamond on a leash. Uh, you know, Matt Stryker gets durable stuck up his asshole. I'm sorry if I'm allowed uh, to say that, but, I mean, that's true. And uh, who else we got? Cruel, Mr. Personality? I mean, come, come on now. Hey, uh, see this one talking about. Face. Sorry to interrupt you, but this is Reef's finishing move. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I like this kid, Grim Reefer. I mean, he's been around, he's paid his dues, and he's opening some eyes. Can you see Grim Reefer in nightlife? You know what? I guess time will tell that story. Um, I, you definitely won't see Low Life Louis Ramos in nightlife, I'll tell you that much. Louis is the king of hardcore. He's only lost one time in USA Pro, and that's the Balls Mahoney in a big ass fireman match. And right now, yeah, it clashes styles as Reefer takes on Low Life Louis. But back to early before, we saw you. Had a little incident with Dana Davis in the ring where he made a bark like a dog. What's your feeling about you told her that you fucked the 16-year-old Dana Davison? Well, I didn't know. I mean, it really, it's uncalled for, for in this year of 2004 for someone to lie about their age. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. Now I have to deal with the consequences. And I don't mean to take anything away from the two athletes, but I mean, that's a serious offense. And uh, that's a real crumb thing of her to do, just to break into the business and tell uh, Frank Goodman that uh, she's uh, 18 years old. I mean, that's just bullshit. The big question is, is she shaved? Huh? The big question is she shaved. Well, I, I, either she shaved or she just <laughs> couldn't grow it. I mean, I'm, I really hope she shaved. So it's bald. Yeah. But that's the way I like it. I don't want no hair in my mouth. But I don't take anything away from this match. These two competitors going at it. Uh, look at the motivator from Declaration of Pens. Not the referee. Grim Reefer is ready to win this match to prove something. Reefer's got something to prove. This is a matter of respect and pride. He's got to win this match. He's a former USA Pro Extreme Champion. The belt that you must won. Yeah, well, right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay low right now. I just had the biggest win of my career over the Sandman. Um, 
And I'm just going to lay low and make sure that nightlife is done the right way, uh, not the way it was done when the uh, end of the hour show came uh, to a close, which I heard was the uh, worst thing ever in the history of United States Pro Wrestling. Um, I'll agree with that, but look at this. Louis got a wrestler match against me. He can't just brawl as we just turned this into a wrestling match, not a hardcore match. So he works left arm, Mike Cool style. You know what? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna defeat Louis Ramos, it's not gonna be taking it to him with chairs because he's used to that. You take him to a different element, which would be work in the arm, use one part of the body and stick with it, kind of like the old school Arn Anderson, if you if you'd say. But I mean, you see, he's working on his arm, and maybe he knows something about Louis's arm that we don't. Well, he does have a scarred up arm against his match against Bulls Mahoney. Louis trying to weaken that arm, but as far as my knowledge, Louis's a righty, not a lefty. Big time arm drag. Clancy with some big punches on Reefer. Reefer's hat still on this match. There you go. That, that, the quickness. Hey, look at this. That's what I'm talking about. He's I mean, going right back to that body. He's going right back to that left arm. Billy Real told me before about the beauty pageant. Becky Baylor, she has not chosen a side. Which side does she stand on? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't really want any girls on my side right now. Especially in nightlife. I think all they do is pollute things. If we want girls, we'll go out after the show and get them. Because I feel there have been nothing but a distraction. I mean, you look look at the long list of people that I've had to deal with in my career. Becky Bayless. I mean, now she's doing good and she's successful and working a lot of places. It's only because of me. Her claim to fame is being Billy Royale's girlfriend. That got cheated on with another rat named Dana Damison, who her claim to fame is. She got with me in the Oxlox kitchen. So, I mean, I mean, really... I'm doing stuff for them where it should be the other way around. So I'll just keep it to the nightlife scene and the clubs where the girls will do stuff for me. Is there any other woman in the USA Pro that you can see being the next Billy Real Rats? Uh, like I said, nah, uh, I'm cool, man. I'm, I'm just focused on making nightlife better. I got rid of some uh, loose ends, and uh, that's my big goal. I want to see a uh, nice drop kick there by Reefer. I want to see Mike Tobin succeed, and uh, this title, his first major singles title, is the first step in doing so. That's a championship you never lost. How do you feel about your fellow L.A. partner holding a belt that you never lost? That's well, it, it, it troubled me when I found out that Mike Crew won it, because I, that, that son of a bitch is, uh, doesn't deserve it. So when he won it vacant, I, I was pretty pissed. But as long as it's in a family, the real family, it's Mike Tobin, that's Tony Lowe, and that's Billy Real. I'm not worried about it. Back to this match, Grim Reefer, known for his death-defying moves, and look at that big-ass frog splash from the ring apron to the floor on Low Life Louie. The crowd is going mild. You know, that's why he is the highest flyer in more than one way at Grim Reefer. I mean, he's just like, double entendre on that. His, I'll tell you one thing, his knees are going, he's going to feel that on his knees in about 15 years. That's unforgiving cement floor there. There's no mats here. Who clothed this referee? Just the two count there. Um, that was a shirt he borrowed from me, and I quickly put on a Crazy Ivan t-shirt available at the DIY.net. Good reef for going right back to left arm that we were talking about before. Looks like he's going to try to break that his arm. Now, that's that's what I appreciate. Ring savvy. That's what I would look for. I look for guys with pretty looks who got good mic skills. I leave the mic skills to me and Tobin. You know, uh, that's why Stryker had to get cut loose. He was getting soft. Simon Diamond, another one. Oh, shit, what's this? Oh shit, this could be breaking his neck right here if he hits this. You better believe it. Holy fucking crap on his stick. And the crowd has shown the appreciation of Louis. Reefer might be broken in half on that move. Reefer is down and freaking out. I'm surprised. I mean, inexperienced right now by Louis, Louis, Louis Ramos. If he knew it was best after a move like that, he would have went for the cover. Instead of going for a body slam and trying to inflict more severe punishment, he did not go for the cover. And that is just not witty. And this is something Low Life Louie talks about on his hotline at 1718-707-1014. He's just talking about race psychology, and it looks like he's not using this match. He should have went for the pinfall when he had the chance. Right. I mean, anytime you have an opportunity to put away an opponent, whether by hook or by crook, you go for it. Instead of worrying about the, cr the crowd chanting your name, the you crowd, go for the pin. The crowd seems to be firmly behind Because this is what happens. Movie. That's what happens when you take too long. We get slapped in the tits. <laughs> it's just like Dana Davidson. That's why I from the sources in the back. Well, you know how that goes. Grim Reaper taking full advantage now of the, of the of the unwise decision by Louie not to go for the cover. That's a hardcore wrestling fan, if you ask me. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been through a share of battles. 
And Lord Fleury sporting that New York Giants tattoo. Oh. As Grim Reefer starts whacking him with a barbed wire baseball bat. Shades of McFoley. Now, while that does inflict pain, I think Reefer is out of his game plan. I mean, he was working on the arm, and now all of a sudden he grabs the bat. I mean, I'm sure that hurts. But if he would have kept working on that arm, he might have been able to get a submission finish. Now, what's in that black bag? Reefer's got something in that bat. We can't see what he's got. I don't know what it is. It's thumbtacks. That's about 300, 400 or so thumbtacks. He whacks Louis in the face with it. And there's a bunch of thumbtacks in that ring. And Louis's head looks like it's going to go right on top of it. This, this reefer's got some heart, I'll tell you that much. But like you said, Billy Real, he's not sticking to the game plan. It's a good backfire for Grim Reefer. What the hell? He's not going to do a side slam. Oh! oh! That's got to be it. Big time sidewalk That's slam for Reefer. One, Louis. two, one. Louis still kicking out. Wow. This guy is amazing. you got to give props to low life Louis Ramos. I mean, how do you kick out of something like I that? I think he's just too stupid not to kick out. I mean, his body's got to be immune to that. What the fuck is that? Is that a drill? Guess what? If you're going to beat uh, Louis Ramos after seeing a uh, side slam from the top rope on a bunch of thumbtacks, you better use the drill. Right into the head of low life Louis. Wow. I think Louis's bleeding after that. that will be Unless his body's made of a uh, silicone like these valets around here, I'm pretty sure he is bleeding. Speaking of valets, what's the Bobcat nightlife? She, she ain't with me. She ain't with Tobin. She ain't with uh, Tony Lowe. And what we did tonight was was basically we felt bad for what Danny Drake had to see at the last USA Pro Show. Now, Danny Drake was a hell of a performer. And look at Grim Reefer just opening up on the left lead. He's literally drilling him. This is unreal. Billy really Real, well, you got some time. Let's talk about Lap Dance Magazine. Yeah. Where can the fans pick it up? Uh, it's, a, it's a filled up show. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, I can't talk about Lap Dance Magazine right now. The lap, if I were out of Lap Dance and seen the blood drip out of the puss like I'm seeing out of Louis' forehead right now, I mean, I just have to put the magazine down. This is just un... How is this guy... Like, this is so barbaric. Bad. Right into that arm that we were talking about before. Right into that injured left arm. See? Now, that's what I would have done immediately. Right on the left we arm. We go right back to work. The crowd is standing up, they're on their feet. Look at the motivator, he better not bleed on that shirt. This is just... <laughs> Man, these two guys are putting it all on the line here. Uh, regardless of what you think of hardcore wrestling, you gotta respect their efforts. Oh my god! Right into that back, and that bat's not coming out because that's real barbed wire stuck on Lord Flumey's shirt. Oh my goodness. Oh! The motivator getting busted up! Courtesy of a baseball bat for Grim Reefer. And that buzz where I fell off the bat, that's how hard he hit him. Wow. His arm speechless. That, that was stiffer than Rod Jeremy. And you know, that's, that is killer instinct right there. Going after the referee, no regards for your opponent's health, no regards for his uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wow. Uh oh, what is he setting up? He's got the barbed wire face bat right in Louis' chest, right on the skin of low-life Louis. Grim Reefer, what is he setting up? He can be set for that Swanton bomb. It's that oh. big time frog splash. That could be it, but Reefer is turning on that too because he hit that barbed wire. The crowd is, listen to the crowd. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I, I mean, I don't really know what to say. I mean, referee, first referee USA Pro, Billy Real speechless. And that's from Washington, Grim Reefer and Lloyd Fully just mutilate each other. You know, as this match goes on, I'm starting to appreciate more and more the skills of this Grim Reefer and the <laughs> his lack of fear. I mean, this guy, no regard for his own body. That's what I want to see in nightlife, you know what I mean? And Reefer's going to the top rope. The motivator's hurt. Referee, big time clothesline. The counter move right into those thumbtacks. The motivator, the referee looks out of it. The resilience of Lloyd Fluey is amazing. The crowd is running against Old Life Louie. Low Life Louie is like A-Right joining the Yankees. Just a sure thing to win this match, it looks like, from here. And Don't count this reefer out, though. Shades of, shades of Steve Dr. Death Williams there. The motivator. Uh, what's this now? What's he got in here? He's got a fork. Fork. This could be the fork you coming from Low Life Louie to Grim Reefer. The shirt's coming off. I don't know if he's going to win any uh, beauty pageants with that body. Aw, oh, man. Didn't uh, he have a, a battle with Abdullah? He had a battle with Abdullah on July 18th in 2003 in the Elks Lodge. 
and it looks like Lola Flurry is looking to take that power, and now she's learning it's taking it right to Grim Reefer. This is just unbelievable. I, I, I just can't believe these guys are all three, not just the two competitors in the ring, the referee is bleeding as well. Motivate took a big loss to Roy Flurry back on September 26th in the outslots, and he's still taking a beating from before for that big ass barbed wire baseball bat. Murray just looking to recuperate and call this match fairly. But Grim Reaper is busted up. His face looks like a version on prom night. Wow. I haven't seen this much blood since I like banged his virgin once, right? So name Dana? No, um, I think Sherilyn. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But seriously, I mean, this is just unbelievable. These guys are gushing. Sammy Forty was at pro. You'll see Luchadores. You'll see the Japanese. You'll see the big names, and you'll see just great hardcore wrestling. Only in USA Pro Wrestling. And look at Grim Reefer getting busted up. I don't understand how either man can continue in this. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's based on sheer heart at this point. I mean, the longer it goes, it's going to be it's going to be in Reefer's uh, favor. What's this? There comes that cross face, but uh oh, he's got him, but he, he's not down. Louis's not down all the way there. Still going for that cross face. Oh, he got him now. He's got that cross face I, lock. I don't see him tapping though. I mean, this guy's been hit with uh, screwdrivers, thumbtacks. I mean, I just don't think a submission right now is going to defeat him. Low Life Louis has never tapped out in New York. And it looks like he's not going to tap out tonight as he drives those elbows with the group of his chest. And uh, what's this? This could be the DVD. You know what? Uh, this is Louis' finisher. That's a DVD. I've just seen enough. I've seen enough. We have made a decision who, who the new member of Nightlife is going to be. And you will too in just a second. What the I'm, hell does that mean? I'm back with Dexter Weed. Uh, Billy Real stole his head microphone, and we're seeing that. Well, what is what is Billy Real doing? Going through the crowd. Billy Real has made his way to the ring. And look at this. Night Life is attacking the life. Dexter, I'm a loss of words. Well, well so am I. I well, uh, we were sitting here the whole time, and Billy Real was doing nothing but, but bragging about Grim Reefer. And, uh, what the heck was that? That was something that went flying. Billy Real was just my broadcast part. I felt like I could trust him. And he turned right back on me. He's, a, he's looks like he's leading an attack against Low Life Louie. An Irish whip in the midst of the of the pandemonium. I don't know what's going on. Motivator's back on his feet. Louis, oh, oh come on. He was just nailed with so Billy Real is so honest out here. Of Tony Lowe and he's and Reaver's the got the Bob Wyatt baseball in. cross face. This is it. He's not, he can't get out of this. This might be the end of Louis Life Louis. This might be the end of Louis here tonight. This could be it. Will Louis hang on? Louis. Even the analysis is getting into it. Louis Life Louis as two. This could be. Come on, Louis. Kick out, Louis. Come on, Louis. Who can blame That's him? It. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by a knockout, the Grim Reefer. That's bullshit, Dexter Wiener. And this version of Nightlife, Tony Lowe, Mike Tobin, 